Welcome to Next News. Nigeria's Minister of Education, Sam Igu, has warned that contractors who abandon projects in Unity Colleges after full or partial payment will be handed over to the Economic Financial Crimes Commission. Mr. Igu said this on Thursday in Abuja while receiving the report of the Ministerial Committee on the Assessment of Contracts in the Colleges. He also warned that any staff of the Ministry found to have connived with any contractor would similarly be handed over to the Anti-Graft Agency. A fire broke out on Friday morning at the Maritime House in Apapa, Lagos, Nigeria. The fire was caused by an explosion within the premises. The fire raised certain structures within the compound, with firefighters battling for hours to put out the flames. No life was lost in the inferno. A middle-aged man, Anyedu Udo, suspected to have been spending fake Naira notes, was arrested on Thursday by police in Lagos, Nigeria. The police said they acted on a tip-off and recovered over 3 million Naira from the suspect's house. Mohamed Abubakar, the Assistant Inspector General of Police in Lagos, said the suspect, who has since been taken to court, had been spending the fake currency along with his cohorts who are still at large. The police in Lagos have also arrested a fake housing agent, Ola Ojo, and have recovered 31 million naira from him. According to Mohamed Abubakar, the police acted on complaints from one of the victims. The suspect, who did not provide accommodation for his clients after receiving payment, was arrested last week Wednesday. Newcastle manager Alan Shearer has asked Nigerian striker Obafemi Martins to help Newcastle United avoid relegation by playing through the pain barrier. After a groin scan this week highlighted an area of concern, the former Inter Milan forward flew to Milan on Thursday to seek a second opinion from a trusted Italian specialist. Shearer, however, is hoping the injury can be managed between now and May and that Martins will tell him he's prepared to play in severe discomfort as Newcastle strive to preserve their Premier League status. Singer Timmy Dakolo of the Idols West Africa fame has revealed plans to release his much-awaited debut album in August this year. According to the singer, the album will be a collector's item with 12 tracks and a lot of soul. The singer also said that one track people should look out for is Every Time, a dance and rap track which will feature a collaboration with Jesse Jags. Thank you for watching Next News. For more information on these or any other stories, please visit our website at www.234next.com.